This is the Business Report, brought to you with the compliments of CIBC First Caribbean. Commerce Minister Donville Innes says government must pay closer attention to ratings given to the island by any respected rating agency. Mr. Innes was responding to Barbados' most recent downgrade issued by Moody's Investors Service to CAA3 a few days ago. This brought it in line with the recent downgrade by Standard & Poor's. He believes just as government is quick to issue positive comments on good ratings, they should not ignore right negative ones. Mr. Innes was speaking during an event concentrating on enhancing the competitiveness of small and medium-sized enterprises in the Caribbean at the Accra Beach Hotel this morning. We may not be going to the international market looking for financing, and therefore in that respect, the rating may not be overly significant. But I'm also mindful that investors do pay attention to ratings in order to make informed decisions as to where they invest, how they invest, and quantity of investment they make. I also know that those who are domestically located and may seek usually to invest in bonds may also have a look at these kind of ratings. My issue is not um, to, to spend time criticizing rating agencies or beat ourselves up on the rating, but to say, look, how can we get a better rating? Bico is again standing by its decision to import coconut water. The company came under heavy criticism from the head of the Barbados Agricultural Society, James Paul, when it decided to import coconut water from Guyana instead of sourcing it locally. But Executive Chairman Edwin Thurwell explains the product is available in Barbados, just not on a daily basis. It's not a very good supply if you want it on Tuesdays, Wednesdays or Thursdays, cafe not there. And it's not a very good supply if there's a, if there's a fet on and everybody's bought it and there isn't any left. Because Barbados is not known for having plantations of coconut trees. I don't think I know a single one. I know people who have got five or six. I know people who've got one coconut tree. I've got actually two, um, but it's kind of almost a backyard thing here. Whereas if you go to Guyana, for example, they've got more coconuts and they know what to do with. They've got acres and acres of coconuts that they're looking for a market for. Meanwhile, General Manager Joan Poehler says the 500 milliliter bottles of coconut water were imported to facilitate consumers. She says they provide an alternative to soft drinks. You go into a gas station and your choice of drinks are fairly limited if you want something that's not a soft drink. You know, you've got hundreds of different soft drinks in there. But if you want something that's actually a little bit better for you, you probably end up buying bottled water because there's really not the a great choice, deal of yeah. other choice. So that was where we saw that the key market was, was the convenience. Time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. In Jamaica, Sajakor Group Jamaica Limited was the volume leader with 629,820 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, Scotia Investments Jamaica Limited was the volume leader with 194,600 shares changing hands, all for a value of $429,620. And here in Barbados, the Sajakor Financial Corporation Limited was the volume leader, trading 2,700 shares at $2.28 each.